Hey, I'm Jill Cole with Ripple Little Jewelry, and I am wanting to uh, follow up on my last video. Um, I'm going to show you how to make a mold with this, um, how I, how I'll make a pendant with this arrowhead. Anyway, first I wanted to show you this. I had, in the last video, I uh, showed you how I had made this square out of balls and made a mold. And then I pushed, put the um, white copper clay in it. And I just want to show you how this is not completely dry, but it's been sitting here for a little while. And I want to pop it out and see what it's going to look like. So I'm going to do it on the same card that my bulldog head is on. Nope, it's not ready. <laughs> it is not ready to come out, so we're going to leave it on. So it's dry and not going to break. Alright, so now, I've got my um, copper clay. Um, I'm going to, first, I'll use my um, badger bomb. Okay. Let me turn this around. You don't want to see me? Okay. I'm going to use my badger bomb. Um, I just use a little paintbrush. These little paintbrushes are great for a lot of things. When you have um, wet clay, you can um, just dip it in some of the distilled water and just kind of brush it. And you'll just clean it up, clean up edges and everything. But I'm just going to um, put it in here so it's not doesn't stick so much. And then I'm going to put some on the actual arrowhead. Because we certainly don't want the, um... Yep, yeah, because I'm going to show you what we're going to do with this. We've already made the uh, mold with the um, arrowhead. So I've um, greased it up. And now I'm going to put some clay down in it. But I also need to put some badger balm on my hands. It's most important because they are so dry and clay loves to stick to them. Alright, so this is my white copper clay stuff right here. You can get a pack of 30 gram pack of this for about just under ten dollars. And you can make several things with that. Alright, so here we go. I mix, I've got my clay that I already had opened and just opened another package. And it was really dry. And when I'm doing this, I still feel little dry pieces in it. So I'm going to work it real good. Spray it with some more distilled water. That distilled water in the little misting bottle is awesome one of the must-haves. If you need, wanted to know um, things that you needed to start off with uh, when working with precious metal clay, one thing I would say, okay, get your precious metal clay, get you a little uh, pack, you can get a pack of tools, but this is like the only one I use. I mean, the only one out of that pack that you buy, like at Hobby Lobby that I use. Um, I would get... Um, a deck of cards because they make they make working on these things so easy I mean I did buy some of these things and they're great little Teflon cards um, but one thing I don't like about them is they have a little slight texture on them and I don't like that showing up on my pieces and um, so I don't use them that often Let's see what else I'd want. You definitely need like some badger bomb or um, something. That's that's my favorite thing to use on my hand when I'm working with clay. You'll need a rolling tool. It's good to have. I've got this one, and then I've got this real big one. Um, so um, let's see what else you need. 
Well, those things will really get you started. <laughs> oh, and a little paint, I mean, a little, yeah, like a little paintbrush was great to um, smooth things out. Okay, so now I think I've about got this. It feels pretty even. I hope I have enough of it. If not, no big deal. All right, so I've got my clay. I'm going to go ahead and press it down in here. And then I don't want to use all my clay up on this one piece, which that's definitely not 30 grams of clay up right there. Okay, so I've pressed my clay. Can you see that? I press my clay down into my mold that I've made. And now I'm taking the same um, arrowhead that I used to make the mold. And I'm going to place it right down on there just like I did before. And press it. And it's going to make it thinner. Okay, so now I'm just going to pull it out. You'll see what I'm talking about. And see there I've made it concave so after I fire it I'm, it's not a solid thick piece I have saved all that clay and it's, you still have the arrowhead it's just not a solid piece now if you wanted a solid piece go for it but this I'm just playing and I'm thinking I'll give this to my brother or this could even if it was a big arrowhead that'd make a cool keychain I think um Anyway, so I'm just kind of dragging some of this excess clay off. Because they say you can reuse really dry clay. Just never, I never have. I never have. I still got it. I save it all. Uh, and I keep saying I'm just going to throw it all in the hill and fire it. And just make uh, anyway, so there we go. A concave it's going to dry like this i'll take it out i can drill a hole in it um or i can um i could use like some of these pieces of clay that i just cut off and i could make a bell and stick it on there for me too you can do whatever you want to do anyway so this is going to be cool i cannot wait till it's done i do another video when i'll have all these pieces that i've made today um fired uh and again if you like this video Please like it. Show me some love. Um, subscribe. I'm going to be showing you all different kind of things. And if there's anything in particular that you would like to see, uh, if you would just comment below. Please comment and let me know who's watching my videos because it kind of freaks me out because I don't know who it is. And it could be somebody I know that doesn't even make jewelry that just wants to laugh at me. I don't know. I just don't have a clue. Um. Anyway, that's it for tonight. Thank you. Oh, and it is Whipper Wheel Jewelry. W-H-I-P-P-E-R-W-I-L-L -L Jewelry. Uh, I'm on Instagram and Facebook. If you would uh, follow me and see some of the things I do. And you're welcome to ask me any questions about those designs that I do. Thank you.